and welcome to my latest video. Today we will be touring Michelle's Island of Peaceful. Now I'm very excited because this should be another super inspiring Halloween island. So the island's complete, villager houses are not decorated but the resident rep's house is. Michelle describes this island as a spooky island which also features the Sanderson sisters in it which I'm very excited about because we all know Hocus Pocus is my favourite Halloween movie. She also says there's a small section of enchanted fairy call that blends in. Her favourite is probably the haunted house on the hill with the graveyard. How good does this sound? I cannot wait to visit. I am kind of loving this already. Look at those pumpkins, the bubbles, the star, like so magical in the background. First things first, let's have a quick look at the map. Oh, we've got some spooky villagers. I'm loving this. And I'm loving the green skin. So we have Willow and Mishi, cute names and some super cute villagers. The map looks good, map looks interesting. Let's, let's just get started. Where to go first? Look at that spooky custom code on there. Loving this. I'm just gonna go down here. As always, I will make my usual disclaimer. I apologise if I'm not going the route in which you'd hoped I went. You will have to forgive me, Michelle. Looks like we have some gifts. Okay, guys, so you have to come and visit this island. The cutest gifts. As always, I am sticking with my little outfit, but we do have this gorgeous moon lantern. And I just want to talk about these lampposts because they have become my favourite thing. With the custom codes, they just look amazing and it's really nice to see them in this dark, sort of gothic colour. Look at this, look at the ghost in the background. Oh, this is so good, the little gyroid there. Oh, I'm in love already. Now this is like a more dark Halloween island which I'm really liking it almost has like gothic vibes most of the Halloween islands I visited already on my channel have been a lot more autumnal and uh, fall inspired excuse the mannequin on the beach there so it's nice to kind of visit something a bit different and definitely more on the spooky side I love this. Look at that. There's so many little creepy elements to this island. I don't know if I should put like a not family friendly on it. We have a little orchard. Look at this. This is how you do a market, but make it creepy. Then we have lots more spooky stuff on the beach. Great to see the beaches have been decorated. Again, loving all the little gyroids everywhere. Because let's not lie, a lot of the gyroids are kind of creepy. Just me, or would you agree? Look at this. They really have like made the most of all of the Halloween items on this island. Look at the custom code in that paper lantern. We have a villager's house here, which has been done so simply but so effectively. Again, loving the use of the Halloween decorations in all the different colours, that's something that I'm Trying to emulate on Hessian as well, not just sticking to the usual orange decorations. 
Somehow they just look like completely different decorations on this island though. So good. We have another villager's house. Love how they're so tucked away. Don't think we can get around there. We have down here a nice little seating area. Wow, look at all of these candles. Pentagram in the middle, very suspicious spooky island. I already know it's going to be another one where it's going to be super hard to find a thumbnail. The volcano. I feel like up there to the left could be the little sort of fairy core section that Michelle mentioned. We have a green witch. Such a great use of the items. Okay, I kind of love how you have to like weave in and out. Again, I don't know if it's intentional. I could just be going the wrong way. But I do love how you have to kind of weave in and out to get places. I believe this may be a five-star island. It would not surprise me. Oh, we've got some mushrooms. So pretty. And how good they've managed to make the glowing moss pond as well. Oh, I love these custom codes to make it almost look like there's steps up there. And we have our campsite. Look at this with the creepy music playing. I love the attention to detail with like the gothic coloured flowers. What do we have back there? Something is stopping us. I love this. A little place for you to cook some food or you know make some spells and potions. I always admire people who manage to make those Mario mushrooms look so good. And this is definitely one of those islands. Looks like we have another villager's house down here. The graveyard. Excited for the graveyard because this, remember, is apparently where the haunted house is. I feel really bad for walking over that um, exposed skeleton there. Again, this is so not the way it was intended to be visited. Let's go down here. We have another villager's house. I love how spread out the villager houses are. And yes, I do know I need to go to that haunted house because it looks amazing from that little sneak peek we had. Wow, oh my goodness, this is definitely insane. This is so good. Oh, here we have the Sanderson sisters. So mysterious, so gothic and dark and amazing. And then these castle walls, I mean, couldn't be on a more perfect island. We have our pier up here very simply but effectively decorated and I love this I love this so much the moss balloons everything is in this like pale washed out colour so gorgeous I think this may be my favourite area so far let's run back down here 
Right, let's go to this haunted house. I know there's this chunk in the middle I haven't seen yet, so we'll go back. But I kind of want to go to this haunted house, how it was intended to be visited. Wow. How have they managed to make those ice blocks look so spooky? Someone again practicing some spells. This is gorgeous. I love seeing items that are quite popular that everybody uses, but in different colorways. Especially when they look this good. Right, let's go up here to the haunted house. Beware, ghosts. The attention to detail is so good. And again, the gyroids. Oh, this is so perfect. I'm not going to the haunted house yet. I have to see what's up here. Oh, thank you so much for letting me visit this island. It's so perfect. And it's so different from the other Halloween islands we've already seen on my channel. Look at this massive farm area. What a great use of such a huge space. We have Abel's back here. Right, guys, I'm definitely gonna go over to the haunted house now. And then we'll go back and see what I think is a little shopping district back there. I love these custom codes on the in-game pathing. It's just gorgeous. The glowing moss just works so well. I think we have shooting stars. I can hear them in the background, which is really setting the tone. So this looks like the haunted house. Wow. Look at this. And with the shooting star in the background, perfect timing. How creepy is this? It's like, it's done so well. It's creepy, but also like all the best haunted houses, it's like inviting. You kind of want to go inside. Right, let's go back this way. I am pretty much 100% sure that this isn't how Michelle envisaged the island being toured around, so I do apologise. I love this. The realism here is amazing. These custom codes, how they sort of fade into the grass, are also amazing. Like, I feel like I need those in my life. So good, and we have resident services there. It's a little lucky. This is so good. We have the Sanderson sisters again. I love how they're kind of dotted all around the place. We really need to go and check out that museum in a second. Wow, look at this walkway. So eerie. I love this view as well of that area back there. It's gonna be so hard to choose a thumbnail. Ooh, okay. Another residence house down here. Very creepy. Here we have the museum. Look 
how grand they've managed to make this museum look. This is definitely a great idea that I'm going to take with me. Just those three simple items. I totally didn't mean to go inside the museum there. Wow, look at this. Again, it's like creepy, but so inviting. Such a good build. I love all the Celeste items everywhere. The beaches are just decorated perfectly on this island. Let's go this way now. Look at this flower shop. Again, somehow it's like items that everyone uses, but they have this like mysticalness to them. Like I can imagine people coming here to get ingredients for potions. It's not just like a normal flower shop. The tone has been set very well on this island. Okay, so we're back here now. Let's go find the resident rep houses and go inside. Wow, look at this. Okay, here we go, house number one. Wow. In love. Look how good this looks with the cobwebs. The wallpaper. I mean, the bird, just everything is perfect. And I mean, it's functional. You have the crafting table there. Wow. How good is this? Even the painting on the wall. This is literally interior to die for. Like, every room is so good. It's like a mystic mushroom forest room. Wow, this is like my favourite wallpaper and my favourite flooring. So many of my like ultimate favourite Animal Crossing items are in this room and I love it. I love how it's been designed like this. <gasps> Spooky attic. So good. The dimension is insane. So clever. Of course, a super spooky basement. Wow. I love this house. Honestly, I have seen some amazing interiors on Animal Crossing since starting this channel. This could be my favorite. You know, spooky season's one of my favorite seasons and this house is utter perfection. Wow, I cannot wait to see the next house now. Okay, so here is house number two, which is up behind the haunted house. Let's check out the yard first. Very simple, very on theme. Love it. Love how the characters are dressed. This is very much getting me into the Halloween spirit. Wow. Look at this. Sorry guys, but we're gonna have to get the full effect. Shell, you are so good at your interiors. I'm a very jealous. Wow. Now, guys, Michelle has said that she's literally just started her Animal Crossing New Horizons social journey. And um, having recently just started my own journey, 
it's so exciting to see other people starting theirs. So I will be linking Michelle's YouTube and Instagram account in the description below. So please do go subscribe, follow, check her out and spread some love. Show her just how amazing this community is. This is cool. I love how she's used that customized curtain as like a headboard. Very unique. And the fact that she's used that shelf on top of the door to almost kind of look like potions and lotions. Oh, I love a spooky kitchen. I love the like muted colors in here as well. It's a big difference to the rest of the island, but it looks so good. Okay, I think that was it. And of course we have to sit here with the Sanderson sisters in frame to say our goodbyes. Thank you so much, Michelle, for letting me tour your honestly incredible island. Really amazing. Such a great take on a Halloween spooky island and so different to any of the islands I visited on here prior to this. And I do want to make my usual disclaimer, Michelle, I'm so sorry if I missed any section of this island, but all the more reason for you guys to come and visit this island for yourself. The dream address will be linked in the description below. You'll also have been able to check it out at the beginning of this video. So please do go and pay this amazing island of peaceful and wonderful visit. As I mentioned earlier, all of Michelle's socials will be linked in the description below go and share the love thank you so much for watching please do like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video subscribe to my videos and hit the bell ring bye for now see you soon